Hello and welcome to this video on a very specific size of bonsai, mame. Sometimes this is pronounced as mame, but properly said it should be mame. This would get out of hand, so to keep the flow it would be pronounced incorrectly in this video. Bonsai come in all sizes, and the word has less use in defining the specimen's size than the species does. A bonsai could be the size of a thimble, or something closer to a topiary exhibit. Main bonsai are defined as those trees under 10 cm in height, with some leeway each side. They are an almost quintessential size in bonsai, and what comes to most people's mind when they hear of your hobby. You could say they are miniature bonsai, even among bonsai trees. Mame specimens can often be displayed soon after they are made. As you can see here, a series of trees collected for this video can be potted up and, in a few weeks' time with some new growth, will be able to be displayed. This compares favourably with larger trees which may take years to get to a point where you can exhibit them. The small size of these trees and pots is the biggest part of main bonsai. This creates both benefits and problems when keeping trees so small. First, the pots are only a few centimetres deep, maybe a little over two centimetres, which is a lot of the total height. This is why repotting is carried out every three to four years. The trees cannot be disturbed too regularly. When planting into these pots, you need to use graded soil. Look for the smallest size you can achieve, as this will better suit the size of the pot. Try not to use dust, as you will find that is generated while grading your soil mix. Instead, look for the size of material just above that. Due to the size of the main tree, wiring is difficult, if not impossible, at any technical level. The best you can hope for is to take your wire and create the general outline of a style. You will then need to prune branches back to get them to grow where you want them to be. This is best done with wire that has some sort of protective sleeve over it, but in most cases you can get away without it. Try to use young and flexible, if you cannot do that, older but pliable branches when wiring for this exercise. You need to be careful as wiring of main trees can very quickly and easily mark the bark of your tree. They are often faster growing species, and ones that are resilient, which means damage done to them will be obvious for a time. As said, when you wire it, the wiring is there primarily to give the general form of a style. The sizing does not allow for the intricacies of properly adhering to a style. This means you had best to use it create the broad strokes of an informal upright, a cascade, or similar. Try not to go for anything complex. You can also use these small pots, if done well and creatively, as a group planting. This allows you to recreate a forest in exceptional miniature. In order to get the best results, your main trees are going to need leaf reduction. Due to their size, this is an essential and fundamental aspect that cannot be overlooked. The incredibly small trees easily become overcrowded, with leaves jostling for space with other leaves. Removing some allows more light to get through, which means better growth and healthier trees. It also means you get ramification, with branches and buds appearing closer to your trunk. Again, another important part of a good bonsai. Getting your general style, 
getting your good growth. And finally, getting proper ratioed leaves, branches, and trunk will ensure that even at this tiny size, you are able to quickly and easily achieve a very good bonsai. If you wish to streamline the process and avoid the need for small saplings or similar, you can actually sow seed directly into the pot you are going to use. It is a very similar size to a peat moss pot, and done well, it will turn into a tree in the course of 6 to 12 months. You will need to watch it carefully and ensure it is kept well watered, but it will very easily be done. This is one of the other major issues with main bonsai. The small pot quickly dries out, but it also can't be overwatered or you will drown your tree. These need to be kept in a suitable environment where they are protected from extreme light, direct light, extreme heat, and excess water. Small dedicated greenhouse type structures are ideal, like that seen here. Some species that are well suited to becoming main bonsai include your azaleas, maples, junipers, pines, and even figs. This is by no means an exclusive list, but a good place to start from. The trees seen here are a combination of oak and elm. Try it for yourself if you find you have a small seedling growing in one of your other pots or find one by chance. It's a relatively painless and easily done exercise, and it gives you a chance to learn some of the more interesting stylings of bonsai in a tiny scale. Thank you for watching this video. If you have found it interesting, consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. Please post any comments, questions, or suggestions below.